Hey, hello everybody. My name is Paul, if I didn't say so before. Welcome back. This is video number three. And today or we're going to be installing Prowler. Prowler is an application that is used to manage your indexers. It's the same as Jacket, if you heard of it before. But Prowler uh, works for me. And uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. And with Prowler, you're able to update the indexers uh, in one in one single program, and it will populate that information to your R suite, meaning sonar, radar, reader, lighter. <laughs> so instead of doing them individually, you just gotta do it in one spot within Prowler, and Prowler will send that information. Okay. So this is Prowler's installation in Unraid. Here we go. Apps. We search for Prowler. Enter. I am going to be using Hosh Hot IO's repository for these tutorials. So that one. Hit install. Once again, I get a warning. If you've been following these videos, you know why, because I have the same application already installed and it's picking the same folder, the same port. Ignore that in my case. Okay, pick latest. I want to change this to toot for tutorial. I want to change the, the network to the YouTube network that we created at the beginning on the first video. And then I'm going to change the first digit to a three. That's just me because like you, like you know, guys know by now, I already have this application running. Okay. And then here we're going to go into our tutorial. I think I call it right. Well, you know what? Erase it, edit, and let's just search it. App data, YouTube tutorials, and that's where it's going to go. And it's going to be called Prouder. Prowler. Beautiful. Hit save. Okay, so that's where the config folder is going to go. This guy doesn't require any access to any, any particular share, so that's all you need. If you show more settings, um, this is this is stuff that I, I don't need to change. This is more more of a advanced, but we don't need we don't need any stuff here for now. Hit apply. Download the image and open it up and install the container. And hopefully we get a successful. You see? And finish successfully. That means it's up and running. Hit done. Back to our Docker. It's up there by itself. We're going to move it into the folder like we did before. Edit, move the bar, submit, and now it looks pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna click the little world. As you can see again on my lower left corner, it's pointing to 3696. Yours should point to 9696. So we go there. All the R applications now require. A login form. So let's create one. I like forms because it looks pretty. And I'm gonna click on disable for local addresses. And I'm gonna the same username. And we're gonna click it's gonna password numero uno. Okay. Do it again. Did I type the capital P? I think I forgot. Numero uno. Hit save. Okay. We're back in business here. We we have an error because we don't have any indexers. That's probably what it is. It says no indexers. That's fine. So we go back to the indexer page. Remember when I told you at the beginning, you got to have at least one of those uh, NZB SU, for example. Well, that's what this one comes into play. You're going to go and hit add new indexer here. You, we are in the first one. There's two indexers here. There's the indexers under settings. That's for proxy. 
but we're going to go the one on top, the first one. Hit Add Indexer. And you could search for it. Uh, NZB.SU, I think we could search for it. Yeah, there you go. NZB.SU. It's considered private, but you could, you know, you could, you could join it. Hit it. And then the name is NZBSU. Da, da, da. We we need the API key. Okay. So when you when you sign up for the for NCBSU and you are on your on your account page, there's an API key there under your account profile. Copy it and paste it in here. So I wanna pause and I'm gonna come back after I do that. Okay, I'm back. Everything's filled up. And after you paste your API key in here, you're gonna hit test and you should get a checkbox. That means you're good to go. Hit save. And now we have our first indexer. Uh, you could search for free ones here too, but I don't think you could find, you're gonna find a free one, like a public one for, for the NZBs. Maybe, no, see they're all private. They're not, they're not free. And which means you have to go to the website, join and, and it's usually like $20 for the whole year. And it is worth it. And the same thing for torrents, if you want to use torrents. But like I said, this is not a torrent, uh, torrent guy. But with torrents, you have a lot of free ones. Public, public, public. But that means they're watching you. So don't do not do torrents without a VPN. You, don't, you do not need a VPN for using it. Okay, back in business. So now we have that set up. What we don't have is applications. We don't have applications yet. But this was just the video for installing Prowler and adding one indexer. You're gonna add as many as you want there, but so far for this tutorial, that's that's gonna be it. I'm gonna add another one here uh, behind the scenes. So we'll be back on the next video. Thank you for watching.